Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm here in beautiful downtown Fort Myers, Florida this weekend to exhibit at Artfest Fort Myers. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. I feel like I've done a bunch of these videos lately from inside my van and that's because I've been so busy that some of the only time I get to myself is when I'm actually driving. Shows have been great and I'm really thankful to be this busy. I even have trouble trying to squeeze in time to edit these videos, which brings up an important question of why am I bothering to make these videos at all? What I'm intending to do is share some insight into our lives as independent artists, which I feel is interesting to both artists and art collectors. Through sharing our stories, I hope to bring more awareness and support to the arts. Our lives as artists are absolutely fascinating and so different from the status quo in this country that most people have a hard time understanding what it is that we even do. So I hope to help our community of artists in this way, and you can help too by sharing these videos with your audience. So let's get over to Fort Myers and set up for the show this weekend. Speaking of ways to help artists, last year I was asked to join the board of the NAIA, which is the National Association of Independent Artists. The NAIA is a volunteer-run, nonprofit advocacy group. The mission of the National Association of Independent Artists is to strengthen, improve, and promote the artistic, professional, and economic success of artists who exhibit in art shows. They also sponsor the Independent Artists Podcast, which is something you should check out if you haven't done so already. Because we're all independent artists, the NAIA exists to unify and strengthen the voice of individual artists. Membership in the NAIA is totally free, and the more members there are, the stronger our voices. So I urge you to join. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check it out and join for yourself if you're interested. And now, let's take some time to meet one of the other artists who's here with me in Fort Myers this weekend. Okay, I'm here with my friend and fellow artist, Sherry Rodig. Sherry is an artist from here in Florida. So Sherry, why don't you tell us a little bit about your artwork and how you got started creating these unique pieces. About 13 years ago, my daughter, she was in fifth grade. She came home from school and the, ki the teacher wanted the kids to do a project, a school project to commemorate the 100th day of school. So they sent the kids home with this project that said, build a sculpture using 100 found objects. And we found spark plugs, lug nuts, a couple of Altoid tins, a bunch of ink pens, nuts, screws, you name it. We sat down and she's like, what am I going to do with all this junk? And I said, well, let's, let's take a look and see. So I held up the two pieces of the Altoid tins together and I said, oh look, we can make a little robot. So we made a little robot using a hundred pieces. She turned it in, got an A, and I changed careers basically overnight. <laughs> and I've been building them ever since. Each one is unique. They come with a little heart inside to represent the new life they live as recycled art and each one comes with a story that tells all about the piece and why I made it. That's how they come to life. That's awesome, Sherry. Thanks so much for sharing with us. Of Where course. can we see more of your artwork? Um, my website is um, bittybots.com. B-I-T-T-I, bots.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for sharing Thank with us. Thank you. 